Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how presentation is so important. Okay, so every so often my kids will have cooking class at school, so we have to go out. So before the day before, I have to go out and buy them the ingredients and everything like that, and they'll take them to school, and they'll have cooking class, and then they'll come home, and, and <laughs> we get to eat it. You know, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing, depending on how the class went, right? But a lot of times, so I'll say, you know, how, how, did, how did the cooking class go? You know, how did, how did cooking go? And they'll say, um, I... I did well on this part, but I got a low grade on presentation, right? And I remember the first time I ever heard them talk about presentation in cooking class, I was like, presentation? Because I was, a, I, I remember taking cooking in school when I was a kid, and we called it home economics, right? And I think, I think that as long as it was edible, you'd pass. As long as it tasted the way it was supposed to do, you, you kind of passed, right? And I don't remember them ever talking about presentation. So I was in my kids, what is this master chef? Why, why is presentation an issue? What, do they, 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 are they watching too many of these cooking shows and everything like that? But I suppose presentation is important when you order something. If I went to a restaurant, you know, the presentation of the food is, is a big part of it, right? Now with software over the years, of course I found that that's, that's the case too. Presentation plays a bigger part of it than we as developers like to admit sometimes. So as developers, we tend to be more logical and we think about the code. Like for me, I think entirely about having well working code, uh, code that has a really good architecture that that runs well that's error handled that has logging all that kind of stuff right but a lot of the times the clients they're, they're more focused on the clients or the business owner so this is it this i'm talking about clients here but it could be like if you're working in a job or anything tell me if you've been in this kind of situation right or you your client or your boss or your manager or whatever comes to you with a task and you go away and work on it Right, so to give you an example, let's say uh, I have a client that comes to me with like a with like an app idea, and it's really complicated and everything like that. Uh, and I and I go to him one day with my first demonstration, right? And I say, "All right, you know what? I've got your app here. I want to show it to you." Right? We're really excited about it. We didn't think it was going to be possible uh, sometimes, and it was a bit touch and go. We weren't, weren't sure if we we're going to get parts of it working. Some of it was much harder than we thought it was going to be. This thing interfaces with 18 different APIs. It has facial recognition. The planets align. It turns dark into night. Right? Things that we thought was going to be technically impossible is done. And you know what? We're really proud of this. You know, here, take a look at this, right? And and the client will, get, will be all excited and they'll look at it and they'll go, oh, wow, right? And they'll, and they'll, they'll click around a few things and then their brow will furrow and say, hmm, I'm not sure if I like the font on this button, right? And at that point, part of you as a developer dies a little bit inside, right? Because they're focusing on these few minor cosmetic things that can be fixed in 10 seconds, right? And you've put all this work into the, into the application. Like, so as a developer, you know that like with, with an application, like as, um, for business application especially, it's like 90% code and 10% design, right? And, it's different for a game. For a game, it's a lot more in terms of design, but what I always find is that the majority is, is done into the, the code and the user experience and everything like that. Uh, but the clients, but to the clients, it look, they think of it like 60% design, 40% code. So they're looking, they're looking entirely at the design. So I, I mentioned this before, that if you had an app that with really good design and really good presentation, your clients will forgive a lot more little bugs and things that creep out than if you had really bad design and everything like that, right? It's not fair, there's nothing fair about it, but that's the way it is. And this is one of the reasons why, I mentioned this before, we focus on design first. Like, I make them sign off on design before we start any code now on, for like the last year or so, that's the way we've been working, right? Just because I don't wanna get into that situation again where we have that, that kind of stuff. And I, that's happened so many times in the past, right? And it's also, it's not just in terms of, of code and app design and everything, it's a part of like, the presentation of the company is, which is something that we're trying to work on a lot more here, right? So like when I'm, 
uh, when I get a new project in and I go out and look for developers to work on it, I usually go with the same developers all the time, but occasionally I'll try somebody new and I get emailed from uh, development companies all the time and they'll say, hey, we work on this, this and that. And there's so many things that just, that they stumble over, which are minor things, which as technical people should not matter, but as the client, me being the client in this situation, they, they just stick out like a sore thumb. Like they're using a Gmail address, you know, misspellings in the email, uh, their website looks bad, stuff that's not important, that, that has no reflection on their ability as developers, but it's just minor little presentation things. It's that little bit at the end, you know, I guess, I, and I think it'd probably be like food, putting things in the right way. Right. Years ago, I had a contract with BBC Worldwide working on one of their uh, one of their websites. So this was like oh, this is ages ago, right? So I came in and uh, I was put on this team working on a uh, it was a program management website. So it, it wasn't for the general public, but it was for like salespeople to sell programs to other countries and stuff. But anyway, so I was I was doing all this uh, working on it, and they said we're, we're going to assign you a designer to work with you. And I was a bit offended that they were going to give me a designer to work with me because I thought, you know what, I'm not like one of these mainframe guys who just knocks up a website and it looks terrible, right? I, I know advanced HTML and CSS and all this kind of stuff, you know, and I, you know, it will look good, don't worry. And I tried to tell them that and they said, no, no, we're going to give you a designer. And I said, oh, does a designer know how to code? They said, no, they do not. They, you know, so, the, so I had a designer who was doing things in Dreamweaver and in, um, in Photoshop and giving me designs. And as a developer, I was basically taking those and putting those into the HTML. And a lot of times it was complicated because it would be like round shape, you know, stuff that wasn't really compatible with HTML. But you know, if you know your stuff well enough, you could get it to work. And and eventually, and I had to admit at the end, it looked much better than I would have done. But you know, but part of it was my ego, my ego saying, you know what? I, how dare you say I'm a bad designer? But you know what? Someone who focuses entirely on design is going to be better on a on a developer designer, at least in my opinion. And but there are exceptions to that. And I'll admit that, right? I think for me, I think it would be easier for a designer to learn how to code. And actually, no, I don't think that's true. And, you know, I I think it's just two different mindsets, right? As as developers, like like I said, if the food is edible, it's fine, right? I, yeah, but presentation is. Uh, is really important. Some of the things in presentation of the company, like a lot of times you guys will like criticize my logo and that's the thing I designed, right? And the reason it hasn't changed yet is because my ego is invested in it. I designed that one myself, but maybe one day, you know, maybe that holds us back from certain projects, but I hope not. So anyway, presentation is important. Now today, if you have a situation like that where you, where you did all this work on a project, you did all the hard stuff, you did 95, 99% of it and your client was just like, they're just focusing on that one little design thing. Put it in the comments because that has happened to me at least a dozen times over my career. And it just, it just, it just kills you because you're just so excited. You, you're handing everything over, your, your pride and joy. And they're just like focusing on the little things. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.